What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my first subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support of the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We're at 12,025 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Just saying. Okay, so, um, oh, hold on. Okay, we're at 9%. We should be okay. Um, my battery's a little low, but I think we'll be okay for the reading. Um, so yeah, so I, I was sitting here meditating, relaxing this morning, and I received a couple of channel messages, so I'm going to offload them. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do here. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was, um, uh, there are many shocking series of chain of events. Um, a secret uh, baby mama is about to be revealed, some to a current spouse, some to a former spouse. Um, I heard water sign energy, uh, baby mama. Well, I'm sorry, water sign energy and fire sign energy, baby mama. And um, uh, fire sign energy uh, and earth sign energy, um, spouse and former spouse. That's what I heard. I was making sure I had it right. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So um, baby mama energy. Um, you know, I don't judge. I don't judge. Uh, but, you know, baby mamas are completely different than ex-spouses or spouses. It's just in a completely different frame. <laughs> um, when you're somebody's baby mama, there was no commitment there. Um, it's, it's like sex. Oh, okay. Well, it's flashing now. Let me go get the charger. I'll be right back, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry. So sorry. Okay, so yeah, so baby mama is com on a completely different wavelength than like a spouse or ex spouse or something of that nature. Um, usually, when you know it's like baby mama or baby daddy, in this case, it's baby mama, but baby daddy as well. There was no commitment there. It's like strict, like a sex thing or a friends with benefits thing or something of that nature, just very non committal energy. Um, and then somebody ends up pregnant, basically. Um, that's how I take baby mama slash baby daddy energy. Um, it's just on a completely different wavelength of like an ex spouse or a current spouse or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a fiance, uh, because those things indicate commitment. <laughs> baby mama slash baby daddy energy does not. Um, that's how I take it. But you plug it in, how it resonates. I've never been a baby mama. Um, never want to be a baby mama. I have no desire to be a baby mom. <laughs> and that's just the truth. <laughs> but, you know, some people, that is their life, and I don't judge that. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. So it's um, some kind of secret baby mama energy. It's about to be revealed. I heard the secret baby mamas that are about to be revealed is some kind of fire sign energy and a water sign energy so the secret baby mamas that are about to be revealed to the spouses or ex-spouses um, these are feminine energies aries leo sagittarius fem energy cancer pisces scorpio fem energy 
Um, these people are the secret, secret baby mamas. So they're secret baby mamas to somebody in the universe. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fem Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Fem Energy, whoever they are and how they resonate and apply in your life. Secret baby mama energy. I heard these people are about to be revealed to the current spouses and the ex-spouses of some of these people. Um, so it could be a viewer or somebody you're connected to, but it's, I don't know. I heard through many shocking series of chain events, they're about to be revealed to these people. So they've been secret baby mama energies to some masculine energy or energies out in the universe for some of them probably for a while. Some maybe recently. Some they might be pregnant currently um, in the universe. Um, some they might have children that are 5, 10, 15 years old. I mean, I'm not sure how this plugs in and applies to your life. But the people they're about to be revealed to, the current spouses or the ex-spouses, I heard is fire sign and earth sign energy. So you could be over here. You could be over here. You could be the baby daddy energy or the current spouse or ex-spouse energy to these people or these, these people. How that plugs in your life. Um, but the it sounds like fem energies that are about to be revealed to because these are fem energy baby mamas about to be revealed to fem energy um, spouses or ex spouses is what it is what it sounds like to me. But you plug it in how it resonates. Aries Leo Sagittarius fem energy um, is what I'm feeling in a I heard a fire sign and earth sign. I'm presuming fem energies. Um, some current spouses, some ex-spouses of baby daddy, ex-husband, or current husband energy. How that applies. Aries Leo Sagittarius Fem Energy, I'm presuming, and Taurus Capricorn Virgo Fem Energy, I'm presuming. But you plug it in how it resonates. These are the people, these people are about to be revealed too. How that applies in one's life. Um, oh my goodness. You plug it in how it resonates. Um that's messy. That's messy. It's messy. I'm not judging anybody, but that is messy. Community on the bottom of the deck, number 39, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 39. It could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 39. Community. It is about to come out. Some of these situations, there will be child support filed. Finally. Some of these people want to be friends with the spouses and ex-spouses, but it's not going to happen. Okay. Oh, Lord, this is, this is messy. So, Heard some of these people want to um, be friends. These baby mama energies want to be friends with the spouses or ex-spouses, but I heard in some situations it's not going to happen. Um, it's not going to happen. And these people don't want to be friends with these people. Um, they've been lied to, probably some of you guys, for years. Why in the world would you want to be friends with the person that betrayed you and lied to you? Um, some of you guys, you might end up getting divorces, possibly. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else, but... Possibly. Um, why would you say this kind of toxicity? I have no idea, um, but I'm not judging anybody. I just don't understand it. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. But I heard some of these people want to be friends with these people. They want to be friends with these people now. Um, they've been were sleeping behind their man's back, um, doing the most, hiding the fact they were, had children and blah, 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 blah. But now they want to be friends with these people? Hell to the his no, I wouldn't. But, you know... You have that own choice to make if you are in any of these situations. However, that plugs in in one's life. Um, it's hot mess express and um, messy. But heard some of these situations, um, sounds like these people are about to find out through court filing soon for child support. So these people are about to file for court filings for child support. These areas, Leo Sagittarius, Femme, and um, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Femme, um, 
baby mama energies. And I'm presuming that's how some of the wives or ex-wives, probably ex, probably current wives are about to find out. And that how now how the ex-wives find out, I have no idea. Maybe through the ex-husband, possibly, or through somebody else. But some of these people are about to file actually through the court system. So actual court filings for child support. And that's how some of these people are about to find out. I'm presuming the actual legal wives in this situation. Um, and some of them, some of these people want to be friends with these people, but I heard it's not going to happen. And yeah, I would, I wouldn't want to be friends with these people. That's, um, your, your home record energy, your, your, your home record energy. Why? And you expect your home, these people are home record energies and yet they want to be friends with these people. It doesn't make any sense to me, but you plug in and how it resonates. So community, they're member, I feel they are members of their community and they've been secretly hiding in the shadows um, from these people, but it's about to be revealed. Some through uh, filings in the court system, some through, um, I want to be friends with you, um, coming out of the shadow energy is what I'm feeling. Is what it is, just saying. So I feel they're members of their community that were secretly hiding in the shadows and, you know, behind the scenes at 2 a.m., banging it with their spouse or ex spouse or boyfriend or, or um, fiance or what have you. It's really, it's really distasteful, is what it is. So community energy. Um, I feel they're members of the community. Of their their own community, I feel they're all members of their own community here. Yeah. Spirit messages you have to like this. Marriage. I heard some of these people, their spouses, some of their ex spouses. Journey number three or ten could be very significant numbers in one's life. Three or ten possible ages of children in this situation, possibly. Um, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, three or ten. Marriage upright, journey upright. Some of these baby mama energies are about to get married. They think it's going to heal things with the spouses and ex-spouses, but it's not. Too much betrayal. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Her, some of these baby mamas are about to get married. So some of these people are about to get married. And I heard they think it's going to heal things with the spouses or ex-spouses. Um, but I heard it's not going to uh, because there was too much betrayal there. And yeah. Um, oh, now I want to get my, now I want to go get married and be committed. Um, but all the while I was sleeping with your man for some probably you guys for years. Yeah, I, that's not healing it. I mean, healing it for this person if they want to get married, but it doesn't heal this situation um, because there was still betrayal there probably for years for some of you guys. I mean, it's crazy. Just because you are making positive steps in your direction, uh, positive steps in your life direction now, doesn't erase the betrayal of the past. Now you want to be friends? Yay, what? I, whatever, just saying, just saying. So, so these people are about to get married. They're about to get married. It sounds like they're about to move their life in a positive direction. Um, which is good for them. In all seriousness, it's good for them, but they need to, in my opinion, they need to leave you alone, spouse or ex-spouse. And I'm serious. They've done enough hurt and betrayal and damage. What? You know, just leave you alone and go live their life. That's the way I look at it. But so they are about to, some of them are about to get married. So marriage upright. Uh, journey, I feel for some, they might move out of state or out of town or out of location. Um, is what I'm feeling because we have the journey card. Let me see if I hear anything else.
Some of these people are going to move locations and they're going to start the same toxic cycle in a different location. Group orgies, sex parties, third party situations, secret, secret situationships. Toxicity in a whole nother area. Oh my lord. <laughs> These people are just, they're toxic. It's what they are. They're just toxic. It's kind of like that Britney Spears song, Toxic. Um, you know that you're toxic. Just saying. That, that's what I'm feeling. Uh, the, like, it's like the Britney Spears song, Toxic. Um, except they're about to move away from you, spouse or ex-spouse. Like physical locations for some of them. Journey, physical locations. But I heard they're going even, and some of them are about to legally get married. They're about to legally get married, but it sounds like the toxicity is not going to end. I heard third parties, group orgies, um, situ secret situationships, um, and um, sw like swinger energy with secret situationship energy. Now, swinger energy is very public. The, all the parties are supposed to know about that. Supposed to, but, you know, everybody doesn't really follow the rules sometimes. Um, I've seen it happen with people. Um, it's really gross. I would never entertain that in my relationship period just gross um but some people do it i mean i'm not judging people do it but what i want it in mind no um but yeah so they um third party situations i mean it's like they like this stuff third party situations group orgies sex parties uh the most basically and i heard secret situationship so the secret situationship would be secret third party energy or secret fourth party or secret fifth party very secret energy but it sounds like they like it but they're about to move away from you want to be friends with you now after they've ruined your marriage and your um your little uh thing with your ex-spouse or with your current spouse and they're going to go do it to somebody else basically in a different location away from you but they want to be friends with you now. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's toxicity. But, I mean, it's toxicity. And I'm serious about that. It's toxicity. It truly is. And tens are completions of cycles. So, they have completed the cycle trying to ruin your life. For some, they probably did ruin your life. And now they're going to go move on to another physical location to ruin somebody else's life. With secret third-party situationships and doing the most um so you plug it in how it resonates wow is what it is man i'm not judging but it's very toxic and i'm just being for real. someone paid off a lawyer to steal someone's inheritance. The lawyer got a cut. Through many shocking series of chain of events, this is about to be revealed and is about to turn into a huge thing. It is about to piss the lawyer off. Many negative series of chain of events are about to occur for this lawyer very negatively in their career and the person that convinced them to steal the inheritance in some of these situations these people had secret sexual relations behind the scenes oh my lord so you plug it in how it resonates wow man these are very top whoever these people are in here they're very toxic minus you spouse or ex-spouse i don't feel like you're toxic in here but the current spouse current ex-spouse baby daddy energy obviously toxic um baby mama energy toxic um super toxic and i'm just being for real so much so some of them are about to move locations to go continue their toxicity and ruin other people's lives um and yeah so just toxic but okay so there is this uh inheritance in here for one particular one of you guys uh, whoever this applies to there's an inheritance in here that i heard um it was a stolen inheritance, uh, but whoever stole it, they're very smart. They know what they were doing, obviously, but they used a lawyer 
a dirty lawyer, basically, to steal the inheritance from you, whoever you are. I feel you're over here in the current spouse energy or ex-spouse energy. Um, they used a dirty lawyer, basically, to steal your inheritance, um, whoever you are. But um, And I heard that for some of these people, it's at least two situations in the universe. For some of the people, they slept with a lawyer behind the scenes. They had secret sexual relationship with them. So they have sexually been connected to them. Like, they had sex with them. Um, and so they not only collaborated with this dirty lawyer to steal your inheritance, but they, they sexed it up with them. They did the most with them. So, and it was so effective um, that it was successful. I heard that um, they did steal your inheritance. They did steal it, but they used a lawyer to do it, a dirty lawyer to do it. And um, they were secretly, secretly sleeping with this lawyer behind the scenes. Um, so they did the damn most. Um, but somebody's about to find this out. It sounds like a light side being is about to find this out. Now, whoever is about to find this out, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. But somebody's about to find this out. Um, I guess about the secret sex of this person that stole. Um, I heard the dirty, dirty lawyer basically took a cut. They took a cut of the inheritance money. Um, and they got, they were having sex with the person. So that not only they not only collaborated to steal somebody's inheritance, but they were sexing it up too. I mean, they were doing the damn most. But anyway, so um, so. But somebody's about to find this out. A light side being, it sounds like it's about to find it out. It could be another lawyer. It could be a judge. It could be a public investigator, a private investigator, or an officer of the law. Light side, obviously light side. Somebody light side is about to find this out. It's not a dark side individual. And I heard it's going to create negative series of chain of events for the dirty lawyer in his, um, not his, um, his or her career. His or her career. And, and for the person that stole the inheritance. Indictment energy coming. And for the person that stole the inheritance, indictment energy coming. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, wow. So um, I'm thinking the lawyer might lose their, um, they might get in trouble with the bar is what I'm thinking. Thinking the lawyer might get in trouble with the bar, the bar association, possibly. And they might end up losing their um, privilege to practice law, possibly. Possibly. I mean, I'm not sure. Only these people know their story, not anybody else, but the dirty lawyer shouldn't have um, um, took a cut, took a cut to steal somebody's inheritance. And that's just the truth. Um, that's the truth. Um, and indictment energy coming. So I think for the person that convinced the lawyer to um, steal the inheritance, um, and they were secretly sleeping with them behind the scenes. The lawyer might be married for all we know. I didn't hear if the lawyer was married or not, but that's still, that's nasty. That's nasty. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, but I feel whoever you are, light side being about to find this out, I, I'm pulling you in too. I feel you are about to find this out. You're about to find this out. You're about to create negative series of chain of events for this dirty lawyer, like dirty in many ways, just saying, just saying, dirty, <laughs> like Dirty, dirty, <laughs> like just saying, and um, like morally dirty, um, like ethic ethically dirty, um, as far as practice is concerned, um, law practice is concerned. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's pretty freaking crazy. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. And that could be the coffin reverse energy too. Just saying. And the message of concern. Um, somebody's stolen inheritance, and that's a huge ass thing. It hasn't ended. It's been stolen. Message of concern. I think it might come to you, light side being, um, because somehow you're about to find out about this. Um, it sounds like you're about to do an investigation or bust it open and let somebody know that this has been happen has been happening um, or has happened. Somehow, somebody's about to find this out. Um, whoever you are, somebody's about to find out about the stolen inheritance. I think you're about to, uh, light side being, you're about to send a message of concern to whoever, um, to somebody to help resolve this um, inheritance, a stolen inheritance situation and, um, uh, and um, get it resolved basically. It hasn't ended. 
You plug it in how it resonates. Dirty lawyer energy in here. Yikes. Number 14 or 19 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 14 or 19, it could be possible ages of you or um, children of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 14 or 19. A particular water sign is about to be a huge game changer soon. A huge game changer. And a feminine energy is live. This, this fem energy will repay it forward to this water sign. Okay, so a water sign energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, masculine or femme, whoever you are, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, you could be masculine or femme. You sound light side, I'll tell you that, thank God. Um, you're not on the dark side. Um, I heard you're about to be a huge positive game changer to a particular fem energy. Maybe the, it was the fem energy that got her freaking inheritance stolen from her. Possibly. Um, or it could be some other kind of way you're about to be a huge positive game changer to her. Um, somehow you're about to be a huge positive game changer to her. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine, femme energy. Um, in a positive way, obviously, not a negative. Um, secretly, he's been sleeping with your spouse or ex-spouse for years kind of energy. Just saying. Um, but I heard um, you're about to be a huge positive game changer to her soon. It sounds like you're about to help her out in a huge ass way. And I heard down the line she's going to repay it. Uh, she's going to pay it forward to you. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel in some of these situations, it might be money. might be money. And for some, it might be this inheritance, stolen ass inheritance. Um, somebody knew about this inheritance. I just want to say, uh, I'm about, I'm done with the reading. If I get any more channeled in, I'll let you know. But I just want to say, somebody knew about this inheritance. Um, obviously, the lawyer knew about it. But the other person knew about it, too. I feel for some of these situations, the stolen inheritance was a family member that stole it. Um, because how did they know that there was an inheritance for this person, for you, if this resonates for you? How did they know? They, I feel in a lot of these situations, it is a family member that slept with this dirty lawyer, your family member that slept, slept with the dirty lawyer, and stole your inheritance. Because how else would they have known about the inheritance? Um, just... Anybody, any plain Jane walking down the street is not going to know about your inheritance. Somebody had to have inside information to know about your stolen inheritance. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it is a family member that stole your inheritance. And I'm just being serious about that. Putting two and two together here. And I'm for real. Being for real, for real. I'm serious. But you plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And I'm staying.